Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about another enclosed emitter, Red Dot, one that I've actually have been meaning to look at, had it for a few months, and finally am at a point where I think that I can give you my opinions on it. We are talking about the Swamp Fox Kraken. This is, again, a tactical mailbox on a pistol. <laughs> and uh, I've actually been relatively surprised by it. Spoiler alert, I really do like this uh, red dot for a couple of the different reasons we're going to talk about that in this video. Before we get into going too far into what's going on with this red dot, I do have it on my Glock 47. If you guys are interested in a review of the Glock 47, let me know down in the comment section down below. In addition to that, what is your favorite red dot for a pistol? Or are you an iron sight type of guy? Let me know that too. I would love to hear what you have to say. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, the Swamp Fox Kraken is their version of, let's say, the Acro P2 or even the Steiner MPS. Uh, this is going to be, like I had mentioned, a large mailbox on top of your pistol. And a lot of people don't necessarily like the aesthetic of this. I don't particularly mind the aesthetic. Uh, obviously, it's not meant to look good. For me, it's meant to be an addition to your tool. So that is one of the main reasons why I've been such a big fan of a closed emitter optics because open emitters, they end up being just a catch-all for any type of debris that might be floating around regardless if you are open carrying at the range or if you are, um, you know, appendix carry, which is how I normally carry. It ends up being a collect-all for belly lint and hair and dust and everything else. So I find myself spending more time cleaning out the red dot than actually using it, right? Whereas a closed emitter optic, if there's anything on the back lens, I can just take my shirt while I'm carrying it and just wipe it clean whenever I think about it and it's good to go. In addition to that, here recently I uh, competed in Kalashnikon and used my CZ P10C with the Hollow Sun 509T and shooting from the prone, I had to kind of shimmy and move to get into the targets. Uh, it collected a lot of dirt on the back lens. Again, just took a cloth, wiped it off, and it was good to go. If you had a open emitter type of optic, you would have had to really get in there with like a Q-tip or some, uh, you know, some liquid, you know, cleaner, you know, some like uh, lens cleaner or something like that to get that debris and dust out of there. So that's one of the main reasons why I like closed emitter optics is because they are extremely easy to maintain. So that's a uh, huge plus on that. So let's talk about the Kraken real quick. The housing on this is going to be 7075 aircraft grade aluminum. So it's going to be uh, really robust in its you know, rigidity and, um, you know, not getting beat up or failing because of uh, taking a lot of abuse. Now, I haven't done any type of torture testing on this as of yet, but again, if you guys are interested in that, sound off in the comment section. We'll do a video and see what happens with that. This is going to be the green dot version. It is a three MOA dot, and you do have the choice between a green or red three MOA dot. Um, this is not going to be a dot circle or anything like that. It is strictly a dot. So um, that is one aspect that maybe Swamp Fox could improve on, developing uh, the electronics to uh, encompass a dot, dot circle or just a circle, very much like uh, what Hollow Sun does as well. The illumination settings are here on the left-hand side and are fairly audible and tactile. As you can hear right there, it does have 10 brightness settings to include two night vision settings. So those of you guys who would like to use this with nods, it will work with that. So that is, uh, that's a pretty nice added bonus. You have your standard adjustments of elevation on the top and your windage on the side here. And then you also have your battery compartment on the right side as well. This is going to accept a 2032 style battery, which is my favorite battery. I do know that the 1632s are just fine as well, but with the Shake Awake technology on this, you can expect years of usage, I think up to 50,000 hours of usage. So that is a uh, really nice feature. And one feature that I kind of 
uh, almost demand when it comes to red dots. One of the things that I will always recommend is that you set a you know, a alarm on your phone for the first of the year and when that alarm goes off to go ahead and switch out the batteries on all of your red dots, uh, your key fob for your vehicle, your garage door opener and that type of stuff. I uh, just really recommend that because you will never have to worry about your red dots failing when you need them. I know that some people may not have the ability to do that. They may not be able to afford to do that every year, but it is a technique for you guys to um, consider. Now let's talk about two of the biggest pros when it comes to looking at the Swamp Fox Kraken. Number one is going to be price. In a sea of closed emitter optics, whether it be the Acro P2, the Steiner MPS, the Holosun 509T, um, I think CNH Precision may have one very similar to this coming out here pretty soon. I know Siley may also have one of these coming out as well. This one I think is going to give you the best of multiple worlds. Is it the best amongst all of them? I don't know. I may make a decision on that in the future when we do a versus video of all the different closed emitters that I've looked at this year. But realistically, this one is going to be a fairly high value. You can find these somewhere around that $275 to $300 mark, maybe just a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on when and where you're buying it. But one of the great things about this is with the closed emitter optics, you will have to have a very specific footprint for your uh, attachment to your pistol. So if you are not direct milling this to your pistol, then you're going to need a optics plate. Swamp Fox includes an RMR cut and an MOS cut plate in with the box on this red dot. And that is extremely beneficial to someone like myself who is constantly changing out red dots and are trying to uh, do testing for you guys. I don't have to worry about trying to source a plate. It comes with it. I really would love to see more manufacturers do that because then you don't have to worry about tolerance stacking too very much uh, from a third party company when the manufacturer themselves should be doing the QAQC to ensure that the optic and the plate are fitting perfectly. Um, not to mention on to the different types of cuts as well. So just something to consider. That's uh, the two big pros when it comes to the Swamp Fox that I can see. All right, so let's talk about the cons here real quick when it comes to having one of these types of optics on your pistol. The first is, I would say, probably preferential types of complaints that, you know, it's too big, it's too bulky. Uh, I'm afraid that it's going to print too much if I'm trying to conceal carry. It's going to be too heavy and slow the slide down causing malfunctions. And to be frankly on with, honest with you, I have not seen any of those types of issues. I have been using it with this uh, Bravo concealment holster. And I will say that even though it does stick out a little bit more than say like a RMR, I haven't really had any concerns or issues with printing or anything like that. So I can't really tell you that this is going to be detrimental for someone concealed carrying. In addition to that, I have had zero issues when it comes to reliability of this on the Glock 47. Um, this combination has been 100% reliable. I've had no failures, feed, fire, or eject. So you can't really say that there's been any issues with the weight of this slowing the slide down causing issues. Now, if you have a more temperamental firearm, say like a um, 2011 or something like that, that might be a case. But for standard polymer frame striker fired pistols that are uh, typically a little oversprung so that it will feed pretty much any type of ammunition, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. One complaint that I will say that uh, is somewhat justified is the fact that you might find that you have a little bit of parallax issues with these. You will see a lot of warping of your image through this optic because you having two plates of glass very close to each other in comparison to say like a standard rifle red dot. Uh, these types of red dots are pretty short in the length. So those two lenses will cause some warping of your image and may cause parallax issues. 
Now, if you are uh, shooting over 25 yards, you might find that to be the case, but every single red dot that I've seen like this should not have any parallax issues 25 yards and in. I've even shot at targets uh, over 250 yards at the tactical games using the Holosun 509T, and I've had zero issues. I've put rounds on target, no problem. So those are kind of some preferential or uh, perception issues, uh, to say the least. The only concern that I think that people might be justified in uh, griping about this style of red dot is the ability to co-witness. Obviously, since you have to have a fairly robust plate or mounting setup for your pistol, that is going to set it higher than your stock sights on your pistol. Because of that, you're going to at least have to have optic height sights or even suppressor height sights. Those are two different heights of sights. So uh, just keep that in mind, but definitely going to need some type of replacement uh, iron sights when it comes to this particular setup. So that is basically the rundown of the Swamp Fox Kraken. I really do like this particular setup. Again, if you guys are interested in me doing a review of the Glock 47, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you had the choice of purchasing this or no red dot, definitely this. If you had a choice between this and some other closed emitter red dots, then um, we might have to have a little bit of a discussion as to what you're looking for. If in my opinion, you have a choice between, say, an RMR or a Holosun 507C and a closed emitter, especially the Kraken, I definitely would steer pe people towards the Kraken. Yes, it's going to be a larger footprint, but at the end of the day, I think you're going to be a lot happier with its capabilities overall. So that's what I have to say about all of that. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. With that being said, that about covers it for the Swamp Fox Kraken review. 500 rounds and I have really enjoyed it. I'm going to put some more ammunition through this, maybe try it on a couple of different setups and see how it works out. But overall, I have really enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, one of the best ways that you can do that is share this video with your friends, uh, whether it be over on Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, even texting the link over to your friends would be really helpful. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd recommend you guys considering doing that. I would really appreciate it. And if you are already subscribed, go ahead and check to make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube loves to unsubscribe subscribe people for some reason. Anything you guys got to say, naturally I would love to talk to you guys down in the comment section. I try to answer as many comments as I possibly can and it's always great to have a discussion with you guys. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you again so very much on everything you guys are doing to support the channel. We will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.